Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Black Petrel, familiar birds of pelagic waters that are generally solitary. I hope you enjoy. Black Petrels are seen often in the pelagic waters and shelf break edges around northern New Zealand, especially the Outer Hauraki Gulf. Birds are medium sized and uniformly black, with them also having black legs and feet, alongside yellowish bills with a grey to black tip. Coming in at lengths of 46 cm and weights of 700 grams, they are the smallest overall of the four Procellaria petrels, the genus of which they are a part of. They also have wingspans of over a metre, allowing for effective soaring. They are similar to the white chinned and westland petrels, which are both larger and bulkier, as well as having more robust bills. Generally solitary at sea, they often feed in small groups associated with dolphins and whales, as well as following fishing vessels. They mainly eat fish and squids, characteristically feeding through surface feeding and shallow dives, doing so predominantly at night. They have been noticed to dive to depths of up to 34 metres, although they usually do so at the surface, or around 10 metres in depth. Birds breed from October to June, with birds either digging out burrows or utilising caves, hollow logs and trees for nesting sites, which they return to each year. They are colonial breeders, also being monogamous, with birds tending to a single egg laid from mid-November to late January. Incubation of their egg takes 57 days, with a chick being fed through regurgitation until they fledge after 96 to 122 days. Adults and juveniles migrate to South America during their non-breeding months, being reported off of the coasts of Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico and the Galapagos Islands. Juveniles will remain near these regions for 3-4 to four years until they are ready to breed, with them then flying back to their colonies to find a mate. Birds are also able to very accurately detect their sheltered burrows from the air, with them being noted to swoop down into the dense canopy, crashing down along the way, and then, likely through an acute sense of smell, land unharmed, and usually only a metre or two away from their residence. Birds breed on Great Barrier and Little Barrier Islands, although they were once found throughout the North Island and the Northwest Nelson region, although introduced predation and habitat loss reduced them to these two islands by about the 1950s. The main breeding colony is on Great Barrier Island, with an estimated 5,000 breeding pairs, with Little Barrier having around 600. At sea counts have estimated around 38,000, although their population is still vulnerable and in decline. While there are no introduced predators on Little Barrier, Great Barrier carries feral pigs, cats and ship rats, all of which cause considerable damage to the population. Pigs dig up burrows and also eat eggs and chicks, with cats also being capable of killing the adults. Their main threat, however, is their habits of following commercial and recreational fishing vessels for food, with long-line hooks killing many of them as they dive, being recognised as the most at-risk seabirds in New Zealand concerning this. With them being estimated to be declining at a rate of at least 1.4% per year, birds have subsequently been categorised as vulnerable. The Great Barrier Island population has been monitored extensively since 1995, and mitigations to reduce seabird bycatch, such as sinking baits quicker and using torrey lines to deter them have also been put in place. Hopefully then, black petrels will be able to make a comeback, although the ramping up of current efforts is most definitely required. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Antipodes Island parakeet, unmistakable, uniformly green birds that are noticeable for being New Zealand's second known occasionally predatory parrots. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.